Hello, my name is Claire Gormley and I'm here with my colleague, Dr. Fiona O'Riordan. And we're both academic developers with DCU Teaching Enhancement Unit, who recently organised a day-long hackathon event for our academic academic staff. Uh, and this event happened back in May, quite recently, and there were about 50 staff members who attended and approximately nine teams on the day. Our overall objectives really for this event were, first of all, to provide a first-hand experience of a hackathon for staff who may be considering implementing this uh, approach within their own teaching and learning. So we wanted to give them an, a, a, a truthful, genuine experience of what that would be like. We also wanted to highlight the potential value uh, and uses of hackathons um, so that staff, again, could consider those. And we had a central big idea or theme of assessment. So we wanted to use the hackathon as a vehicle for staff to come together to discuss and come up with potential solutions around, around designing authentic and sustainable assessment approaches for all. What worked well on the day? Um, well, certainly working in a team, Claire and I work very well together in planning it. I think it's it's important to have that sort of joint responsibility, accountability and creativity in doing it. The structure of CBL was really helpful to plan the day because there are the three phases. We had a team of sort of support people, which included mentors, students, our own TEU team, tech experts. Um, and the participants on the day felt the student ambassadors were particularly valuable. That's not to say they undervalue the others. They also enjoy the opportunity to experience what the students might experience in a hackathon and um, to discuss assessment as, uh, assessment ideas with colleagues in DCU um, and also the feedback from judges uh, was very important to them and the opportunity to start the process of the day on, on their own and um, that was important. Well, we wouldn't be entirely, thanks Fiona, we wouldn't be entirely truthful if we didn't give you some indication of things that didn't go quite as well as we might have expected. So just to very uh, quickly run through, a uh, pick up on a couple of those. Um, we'd, if we were to do this again, we'd somewhat question the need for prizes, um, because a few people said that perhaps that isn't particularly necessary in this context. And so that's something to maybe rethink. The acoustics of the room, bear in mind that these are very active, lively events. There's a lot of uh, conversation, a lot of noise, and sometimes that can make sharing and communication between the teams a little bit different, a little bit difficult. Uh, so it's worth considering the room that you're planning the event in from that perspective. Uh, more time for uh, working alone, more time for reflection overall was a key piece of feedback. Uh, and lastly, as well, we'd also suggest that we might give a little bit more guidance to the teams on how to potentially make the best use of the expert mentors at their disposal. Lovely, thank you. So some top tips, we've mentioned them already, but plan to plan. It sounds obvious, but you know, do put this in your diary. We were planning from two to three months um, out, so just make sure it does require a lot of time. And then be flexible on the day. Allow yourself to respond to changes as they emerge. That's very important. And just like students, recognise academics have group dynamics uh, and be uh, aware of that and, and ready to support them. Um, and as Claire said, put the focus on the learning and not the end product. Thank you very much.